Hey guys, another video tutorial here. Um, in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over some quick tips on Joomla security. Now, I don't claim to know everything about security, but I know a few things and what I've learned over the past few years. So, if you have any comments or any any uh, you know any advice for me, you know what? Go ahead and leave it in the comments. But I'm going to share what I think um, are some good security tips for Joomla. So. Joomla security actually starts at the installation, so I'm going to start from here. But the very first thing you want to check if you already have a Joomla installation is to make sure this number up here is up to date. Make sure it's current, make sure you have the latest version. If you don't, more than likely you're going to get hacked. If a new security update comes out, you know what, jump all over that. So that's the first, that's the first rule I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put into play here. I'm going to hit next. Make sure that all of these are set to green and not to red. I'm going to go through here and fill this out. Local host. And a lot of people use the root user here, which is the default user for PHP, my admin, or MySQL. And that's actually not a good thing because if they have uh, root privileges, if they end up finding out your root password, then they can access all of your databases, anything in your MySQL, which is devastating. So you don't ever want to do that. And the other thing you don't want to do is use the same user for multiple websites. Um, if they access or hack one website, then they have the password to all of them, right? So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you how to create a new user here real quick. So I'm going to create a database called Joomla15. And then I'm going to go back to my home and hit privileges. I'm going to create a new user here. And I'm going to call this user Joomla15, just like my database. I'm going to say localhost. And I'm going to put a password in here. And I'm going to retype it. And then I'm going to hit go. Okay, so now I have a new user. Now once I've added the new user, I'm in edit privileges for user Joomla15. I'm going to click on down here under data, database specific privileges and go to Joomla15. And I'm going to check all and then I'm going to uncheck the ones in administration. So I want everything in data and everything in structure and hit go. So now I've granted that user permission to this Joomla 1.5 uh, database. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be done with that so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna leave that open and then I'm gonna come over to the web installer and I'm gonna type in the username which is Joomla 1.5 and the password that I set. So there we go. That So that's another security thing that you could uh, put into place. And the third one is going to be here in advanced settings. A lot of people just overlook that. But if you drop this down and look at the database prefix, um, if they're going to do a MySQL injection into your um, database, they're going to look for the JOS prefix. Now we want to change that to something different than JOS. So it could be anything you want, but uh, I always choose the the first three letters of the the name of the website, or or some some weird thing that I always come up with. But um, in this case, I'm going to do ITC, and I'm going to hit next. Oh, I need a database name in here. Juma one five, and hit next. And there we go. So. Configuring FTP is just another way people can hack your website, right? If they have another portal in, there's another way to hack it. I'm not saying it's unsecure. I'm just saying that um, the less things you have open, the better. So I'm going to say no to this and hit next. Type in a site name, your email address. Just whatever. And then I have my caps lock on. And then I'm going to type in a password. And then I'm going to install sample data and log in. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the Joomla directory. 
or actually the Joomla installation directory, sorry. There we go. I'm going to log into the admin panel. And the default username here, so here's the fourth or fifth, I'm not sure which one I'm on, but um, the default username is always admin. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And I'm going to change that. So I'm going to go into my site, user manager, administrator, and I'm going to change this username to administrator. Of course, because somebody that's trying to hack it already knows that the default is admin, so they're going to use admin and try a you know try to hack your password. So you can also create a secure password for everything you're creating, uh, including the database and your administrator password here. So you type in a elaborate password here. I'm not going to do that for this tutorial, but um, of course it's always more secure. And then hit save. So now when I try to log in, I have to type in administrator here. And there we go. Now we're logged in. What I'm going to talk about is this uh, vulnerable extension list that Joomla has going on. So third-party extensions are always vulnerable if they don't keep them up to date or whatever. So you can come here, and actually it's uh, docs.joomla.org slash vulnerable underscore extension underscore list and there's a list of all the vulnerable extensions so you if you're gonna if you're gonna go ahead and install one you wanna make sure that it at least has green um, next to it and not a lot of them do so um, you're putting your website at risk if you don't look through this list here so make sure you have current you know, current extensions, um, make sure they're not hackable or not a security risk. And I think you'd be good to go. So that's six tips on how to make Joomla more secure. And I hope that you never get hacked. I have had that experience, and it's not very fun. So if you have any tips or comments or questions or anything, just go ahead and put them, put them down below in the comments section, and I'll get right back to you. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you later.